So another advantage is also there with isotope. You can find the average atomic mass of a particular atom using isotopes. In nature, for each and every atom, you have different isotopes. By knowing the number of isotopes of an atom and taking the average of their masses, we will find the average atomic mass of a particular atom. For example, see average atomic mass. For example, take chlorine. Chlorine has isotope. One isotope is 75% existing in the nature. Another isotope is existing 25% in the nature. So, this isotope mass, this isotope mass will take and take the average to get the chlorine. How? See the board. Chlorine has two isotopes, one having mass 35 with 75 percent existence, other having mass 37 with 25 percent existence. See carefully, I told 35 and 37. Chlorine atomic mass is 35 and 37, two isotopes. So, equals to 35 into 75 by 100 plus 37 into 25 by 100. Then you will get, you will get 35.5 U. U is the unit for atomic mass, SI unit for atomic mass. So, the chlorine average atomic mass is 35.5 U. So, you want to find atomic mass of carbon. Then carbon has two isotopes C612, C613. So they will see the how much of percentage of C612, how much of percentage C613 existing nature, and do the calculation like this. So they will find the average atomic mass of the carbon. So far we understand about what is atom, what is inside the atom, what are electrons, protons, neutrons, different atomic models and isotopes. Let us we do some numericals based on these concepts. Number one, in Rutherford experiment, alpha particles passed directly through the gold foil, so the gold that means option A, the positive region of the atom is very small. So option B majority of atom must consist of empty space. Now see, alpha particles makes a direct hit. on the positive region as D. The positive region of the atom is very dense. Now see the options and think. It passed directly through the gold foil. Means if this board is gold foil, 
This is the alpha particle coming towards the board and going inside the board and going to the other side. That means the positive region of the atom is very small. No. Majority of the atom must consist of empty space. Yes. Because if positive charge is, is there, it ripples. But with the, instead of rippling, the alpha particle comes and goes inside the gold file. So the right option is B.